Games on what is already a historic occasion. Despite over 250 years of football between them, it's the first FA Cup semi-final for both Middlesbrough and Chesterfield. Only 10 years ago they were rivals in the same third division. Now a huge gulf in both financial and playing resources. Middlesbrough from Millionaire's Row, Chesterfield the ultimate in underdogs. But they're out to make this the most surprising FA Cup semi-final of all time. Davis. Davis goes on. Howard coming in. And it's just outside the... The broad chest of Paul Holland, who has played for England at under-21 level. Ball knocked away. And a booking for Kinder. Well, but plenty of blue shots. I mean, that's a good thing that they've got to get through so many. That's how he's done by Morris. Not the first time he's done that to good effect. Davis, hold, tuck back. And they've got a problem here because Kinder will be off. Already booked, he's got to go. Absolutely no doubt in that. Middlesbrough are down to ten men. The long ball for Chesterfield comes from Curtis. Davis heading it on brilliantly. Howard's got a chance here. That mate, just mate, have been the chance. I mean, that's the one thing. When they start to believe they can pass it about, no. They've done all right the way they've been playing. Carry on doing it. That's better. Howard behind Blackmore. Davis! It's a goal for Morris! It's a goal for Andy Morris and Chesterfield! In the ninth minute of the second half. He won't get an easier one, but he'll never get one that will get attention like this. Well, they suddenly lengthen it like they should have been doing. Howard does brilliantly against Blackmore. Look at Davis, I want it. He can't quite get there. Roberts makes it. Well, that's a great save. If ever a goalkeeper needed a better lock, it's there. Because that's a fantastic save. But does Andy Morris care? No, he does not. Not one little bit. Won't be the best goal he's ever scored. I'll tell you what, it'll be the most memorable. By a Hewitt and Morris. Can he hold off faster? Still Morris. This terrific play brought down. David Ellery thinks and gives Chesterfield a penalty kick. And I was talking to John Duncan an hour before the kickoff. He says we haven't got a penalty taken. Well, they have now. He's shouting Dykes, I think. He's shouting to the captain. They're all looking at each other. Come on, who wants it, lads? They're looking around. Someone step up. Put your foot through it. But this is the incident. Fest that he muscles out. Keeper goes to ground. I think the goalkeeper's unlucky. I have the responsibility, responsibility to the captain. Well, if you're not sure, lad, the only ones that can offer that, just smash it. Sean Dyche. He smashed it all right. Chesterfield lead. Middlesbrough by two goals to nil. Well, that was an amazing scene, Mark, when we were watching that replay. Every player was looking around thinking, who's going to take it? John Duncan says, Dyke, you're the captain. You've got the armband on. This is what I would have done. If the goalkeeper does it, you don't know where it's going, then the goal is not going to watch that the road. Hit it as hard as you can, back of the ball, down the middle. It takes a brave goalkeeper to stand still. It takes a brave man to step up and take that penalty. You talk about lack of leadership for Middlesbrough. Chesterfield had leadership. Sean Dyche, who hadn't scored a goal for Chesterfield for the best part of four years. Emerson. And Blackmore. For the chance to pull one back. Lavinelli has done it. This is Davis. Hewitt is there. Comes for Howard. Can they get another one? Leinsman's flagging him has got the flag up. He's giving the goal. Leinsman's giving a goal. What is the referee giving? Or is he giving offside? This Leinsman was flagging and then ran away to the halfway line. What was going on there? 
Is someone offside? No. He's certainly not offside. Fleming's playing him on. Now, does this cross the line? The line's been said it did, it did, but it's not been given. Well, Alan Sheffield on this near side put the flag up. And this time it hasn't gone Chesterfield's way. And here's Janinia. Penalty for Middlesbrough. Well, well, well it's incident game. upon incident here. What a game. Full of incident. But Sean Dyche, the skipper. And Janinia looks to push it past him. Well, is he in the box or not? It's half blocked. I think both penalties were kind. Kind to the attacker and unkind to the defenders. The goalkeeper in Dyche. I think they're a little unlucky that penalties have been given against them. And Middlesbrough who looked down and out, 2-0 down, are back at 2-2, and they've done it with 10 men. Ravanelli. Pignett. He's made space for the shot, and Mercer. What a save, sir. What a save. Janino teasing and taunting again. Ravanelli. Good early cross. Very good early cross. Kewitt! Jamie Kewitt! The lad from Chesterfield has equalised for Chesterfield in the 119th minute. Last Sunday, three minutes to go. Leicester equalised. Seven days later, what can only be a minute to go? And yet again, they find a way through it. It's a hopeful ball up. They allow it to bounce, but look at that for a header. That's just unsavable. You don't save it. It's as simple as that. Ball played in, they don't deal with it. But look at that for a header. Jamie Hewitt. Well, you could not in a million years have envisaged a match like this between sides. <laughs> Sean Duncan even loses his glasses in the uh, jubilation. 0-0 at half-time. 2-2 at regulation time. 3-2 halfway through extra time. And in the nick of time, Jamie Hewitt keeps Chesterfield in the FA Cup. It's a replay at Hillsborough on April the 22nd. And no wonder there are mutual <laughs> congratulations all round. God, enjoy it, lads. Enjoy. What a tale has unfolded here. First of all, Middlesbrough, it seems, shooting themselves in the foot. Kinder getting himself sent off. And if you like, that it brought the odds closer together. And after Andy Morris had given Chesterfield the lead, Sean Dyche stepped up to slam in the penalty. 2-0. But Middlesbrough found the resolve. They had Ravanelli, 2-1. They had a Hignett penalty, 2-2. And then, as we wondered which way it would turn, Fester put them in front. And Middlesbrough, in extra time, were pipped at the post at the... or caught at the post, should I say, by Leicester last Sunday. And they've been caught at the post by Jamie Hewitt of Chesterfield. Wow, that's Chris Beaumont's cross. Yeah. That's mine, says Hewitt. Unforgettable.